Hello everybody, it's Miss Abney. I am here today in this video just to kind of give you an extra reference for um, graphing matrices in both Desmos and then the next video I'm going to have is to graph it in the graphing calculator just so you have that extra um, extra help here. So I'm going to go to lesson 1-7. Something to refer back to here. And I'm going to do, um, do -ba do that's example one. Usually they have a second example one, but they don't. So I am going to go into example two. Oh, and examples two is three variables. So I'm going to use the three variables. It's, it's the better one to use. It's easier. We can, pushing my computer back. That's what it looked like. I moved backwards, but I really did not. Um, so we're going to use this in this video to kind of show how to use the matrices in Desmos. And then I actually am probably going to use the same example in um, for the calculator. So this would be a perfect example to use. All right, so the first thing I'm going to look at here is I want to make sure that I have the X, Y, and Z all ordered. And this one doesn't really quite have it. So I can have X plus Y plus 2Z. 13. My second equation does not have an x, so I'm going to say 0x plus 2y plus z equals 5, and the third one doesn't have a z. So I'm going to do that placeholder like I did with the x here. And put that in there. All right, so now I have my setup for my matrix. So this first one is 1 then y is 1, then z is 2, and that equals 13. The second one is 0, 2, 1, and 5. And then the last one is 2, negative 1, 0, and 6. Okay, I'm going to go to Desmos. Dot com forward slash NAPRX forward slash matrix. And I will actually see if I can embed this into this video using YouTube, but I might not be able to. Hit enter. And then I am going to move myself up to this upper corner so that I can get to the tools here in this matrix. So I'm going to hit new matrix and it's going to give me a two by two matrix. And for us, Let's go back here. I have three variables, so I'm going to do three rows. And this is rows plus one, so this is four columns. So I do three by four. So I'm going to make my rows three because I have three variables. So I have, should have three equations, and I should have four columns to account for that constant. All right, so looking at this, we are one. One, two, and thirteen. Oh, I went five columns. Doop -doop. Thirteen. So then the next row is going to be zero, two, one, five. Zero, two, one, five. The last row is two, negative one, zero, and six. Sorry, I was just making sure that my signs were right. Two, negative one, zero, and six. Okay, then I'm going to hit enter. And now we have this data saved in matrix A. I'm going to go down to this R, R, E, F. And I'm going to select A. And I'm, <clears throat> I'm just going to close the parentheses. You don't have to. And it shows my matrix here in the right-hand corner. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to bring it back to here. And again, what this is saying, this is my X column, my Y column, my Z column, and my constants. So this is X is equal to 3, Y is equal to 0, and Z is equal to 5. 
All right, so that's how you use Desmos to solve the matrices. I'm going to use the same matrix to do it with uh, the graphing calculator. And then um, I'll show you how to do a three or two by three by hand. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really quick. And if you need any extra help, please let me know. I don't know myself.